I'm getting quite warm. How about yourself? I'm pretty warm myself. Back to you, mm. Javi. Javi. Hello, people. I am Javi Kawai. This is my guest, Bonnie He. She has no sympathy for Javi. So we're gonna look at Iru Mugan, and there are no subtitles on this trailer. So that's fine. We'll go strictly off of the visuals, and hopefully we'll get something. <laughs> It's an Asian guy. Indians are Asian. I know, it's Chinese guy. East Asian. Akila, in the case of the hand Now we can put on the military and weapons, Malaysian government to support Nigari Ishpan. I am Mutia, Malaysian police. What? The cop? This is the character. Under I feel like I'm in Disneyland right now. Like this is, everything I've seen so far is such a treat. <laughs> we haven't read up on the trailer. We just watched it. Yeah. We're gonna give a little bit of a, what we think it's about. And then I'll check out the Wikipedias or the IMDb's to see what they say about Irumugan. Okay, we have a villainous bad guy. Villainous bad guy, is that like redundant? Anyway, um, he is kind of like the Joker. But he sounds like oh, Bane. He is like the Joker. There is the romance, there is the action, and this is the cop to do it. And super eccentric, flamboyant uh, bad guy. Okay, so they got this guy from underground. He was a he was he was he like a prison dude, and oh, they see, they see. they realized he was the man for the job, so they pulled him out of prison. Right. So who can who can compete with a crazy person? Unless it's another crazy person. Right. Right? Exactly. Like you fight fire with fire. He's the single-handed suicide squad. Well, I don't know if he's a bad guy. That's what it looks like. Or he could just be a cop who was in prison. But he has a tattoo on his arm. He's clearly a bad guy. Did you watch The Departed? <laughs> you didn't watch The Departed? I did watch The Departed. He could, he could be The Departed, or it could be The Raid 2. It could be like uh, the main guy from The Raid 2 is, is in oh, jail. Oh, that's a good reference. Out, so. It could be that, or he could be a bad guy, and he could be... <laughs> Yeah. Trying to reduce his sentence by fighting for the good. I see. That could be a possibility. Yeah. Let's look up Irumugan on, on yeah. the IMDb's and see what IMDb's has to say about Irumugan. Different personality problems caused by the work. <laughs> <laughs> that was literally the description <laughs> on IMDb. <laughs> <laughs> that was really weird. Maybe he's a cop. Well, they, there is a cop, but he seems like a comedic relief. Oh, he's the one who's supposed to watch over this guy and while he while he does his job. Oh, that makes sense. Like, right. So he's kind of like the wild card, but he has to do the job that no one else can do. Yeah. But you gotta send someone to watch over him, yeah. and it's gonna be the incompetent comic relief cop. Yeah. So let's let's assume that's the story yeah. and move forward from there. Sure. How do you feel about the story? 
This is kind of a this is a familiar story, right? I mean, you you, you bring mm -hmm. someone out of prison to do a job. I just watched a Michael Mann movie about that that was starring Chris Hemsworth, where there was some kind of weird hacker situation. Black, it's called Black Hat. It was a movie that mm -hmm. was didn't wasn't well received, but it was a similar thing where they pulled someone out of prison, and he he was basically hired to do a job, and eventually over the course of the movie, he's just it doesn't matter who's supposed to supervise mm -hmm. him, because those people kind of just fall away, and he just goes and does the job anyway, gotcha. uh, because of <clears throat> reasons. So, I can imagine something like that will happen here, where it doesn't matter who's supervising him, whatever, he's gonna do this job, he wants to get this guy. It, it becomes a personal mission at some point. That being said, this is already a familiar plot. However, mm -hmm. I'm liking the, the, the bad guy. Oh, the bad guy is yeah. definitely not something you normally see in right. American cinema, cinema right. at all. Right. He was great. He was very well put together. He had like nice rings, nice nail polish. Uh, These are the things that matter when you're a bad guy. <laughs> hey, you have to look good when you're doing bad. That's a quote for the year. You have to look good when you're doing bad. Copyright Bonnie 2016, even though I know that wasn't properly grammatically correct. But that yeah. was also not properly grammatically no, correct. No, it wasn't. It was not. <laughs> Please check out Bonnie He on the YouTubes Please. and on the social medias. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out other reactions, reviews, short films, and video game related videos. I am Jabby Kawai. This is Bonnie He. Peace out.